Hey guys, this is Dr. Croton and today we are going to do an exciting experiment. We are going to make anti-gravity water. But before starting any experiment, safety first. So always wear your safety goggles and your lab coat. So for doing this experiment, you will require a few things. Firstly, you will require four plastic cups. Make sure they are plastic because we don't want to break them. Secondly, scissors. Then a tape. Then a long piece of string. Then we require a tray. And lastly, we'll require a bottle full of water. So let's move on with the procedures. So firstly, what we need to do is take this string and hold it at an arm's length. Now double fold it and cut it right there and always use scissors under adult supervision. So we have this double thread which is strong and the length is of an arm's length. So we have this thread and we keep it here. Now we have to make three more of these. So we need a total of four of these threads. So let's go on with it. So now we have our four pieces of string. So now I'm going to keep them right here and let's take our tray and turn it backwards. Let's keep it at the center of the table and now take one of the string and keep it right here starting from the center of the tray. Now take the other one and keep it on the other side again from the center of the tray. Now let's take the third one and keep it forward again starting from the center. And now the last one, yeah you guessed it right, backwards again starting from the center. Now what we are going to do is stick them to these places with the help of tape. So now let me take out some tape about the length of this tray and we are going to cut it. And let me cut the extra tape. Okay, now let's take another piece of tape about the same length, cut it right there and Stick it on to the other side. So we have all the four sides of the thread taped to the tray. So now if we turn the tray on the other side, we have the threads holding the tray. We can hold the tray by the help of these threads. And as you can see, you have to make sure that the tray is balanced. It is not leaning on either side. So as you can see, this tray is balanced and it's not leaning on any side. So now that we have our tray ready, let's keep the tray aside and let's fill these plastic cups with water. So I have put some color in the water so it's clearly visible to you guys. And make sure you leave at least one inch from the tip of the glass. We do not completely fill the glass. So now that we have these four cups filled with water, what we can do now is take our tray and keep 
all these four cups on each of the corner of the tray like so and now this tray can act as a holder for all the four cups like so and as you can see the tray is not tilting on any side it's completely stable so now let's go down and carry out the experiment meet you guys there so now if i try to swing them do you think the water is going to come out of the cups and the cups are going to fall everywhere well actually that's not going to happen because of a force called the centrifugal force as the tray is moving in a circular motion the centrifugal force keeps the water in the cups and the cups on the tray and as you can see the water is still there inside the cup isn't that amazing i hope you guys liked the experiment and would like to carry it out yourselves at your home but always remember to use scissors under adult supervision and wear your safety goggles and your lab coat this is dr proton signing out meet you in the next one